I'm showing you my desktop because this is going to be, as you probably already know, a little bit of a tutorial on Windows Movie Maker. Uh, so many of you had said that you would like to make movies if only you could figure out how to, or that you wish that you knew how to edit them. So I'm trying to help out a little bit. I don't use this myself a couple months ago when I started out. And, uh, and it drove me crazy at first. It was very difficult for me to figure out. I never used any kind of um, movie editing program before. But I have, as I've gone along, I have figured quite a bit of it out. And here's Windows Movie Maker all opened up and ready to go. Now what you're seeing right here, this is the area where the things go that you are going to use to make your, your video. These are, of course, music files. Here's my Black Cat Mambo. Um, some other little elements that I use. Over here, let me zoom in a little little bit, whoa. These are just some of our options, some of our tools to use. Capture from video device, import video, I wonder if I could use that. Um, import pictures, import audio and music. Then down here is where we go to do the editing for the movie. And there's things like video effects. Which you see here, you've got uh, there's also a scroll bar. Quite a few different things you can do. There's a cat on the back of my chair. To add different little effects and things to your movies. Personally, I suggest less is better most of the time. Because some people get way, way too fancy and put too much and it, it becomes annoying. Uh, video transitions. That's when you go from one frame to the next. Hello, didn't mean to do that. One frame to the next. And you might want to make it, um, well, I'll show you later. I'll show you later. It would be easier to show you than to try to describe it. Make titles or credits. That's how people put words right on top of their video or add a frame that's just, you know, a description. Some people put up a poem or a little message they have or they don't particularly want to go on camera. Uh, this is for when we're done. Finish movie. Movie making tips. Oddly, I have never read these. I probably wouldn't have had as much trouble learning to use the program if I had read those. But that's me. I always have to learn the hard way. And of course, right here, we have the area that will show our movie as we work on it. Now down here, this is the part that you really need to get familiar with. Um, this is where we, we really do our handiwork. This line right here will show the video image, okay? That will be, you know, you talking or whatever it is visually that you're adding to this. You see this little negative? That kind of closes it up. Click the positive, and you see other stuff like the, these transitions that you may add. They'll be right in here, as well the audio that goes with the video you shot, like you talking, okay? Oh, yay, I'm popular. Oops. He's going to have to wait. I'm busy. He spends way too much time with me as it is. All right. Audio and music. This is what you add later. Um, title overlay. That's the uh, words. Like when you see that somebody's added a word right on top of their own video. That's where that goes. Right here. See it all... It all runs like uh, my wrinkly hand. It all runs like that. It all runs across. And right up here, you can see this. This counts the time off. So you can say, okay, I want to edit it at exactly 30 seconds. Well, that's the place right there to do it. And then it has these little lines. Kind of like, you know, when you get a um, stick of margarine or butter, and it has, um, you know, half a stick is a quarter of a cup, and then there's these little lines in between. You know, each one of those is a tablespoon. Well, each one of these is a second. See? All the way. And then there's a scroll bar here at the bottom. Now, if you're not seeing all of these, then it may be because you need to adjust this. Move it up or down. Um, there will probably be a scroll bar over here, too, which will let you know that you're not seeing everything. You may not feel the need to see all of that, depending on how fancy you get. And right here, show storyboard cat... Damn these cats. This is, um, well, I'll show you an example. Let's add some pictures, shall we? I clicked 
Callie, I really can't hold you right now. I clicked up here for import pictures and it opens up this where I can go and find my pictures. Um, let me go find something cool in keeping with the season and let's use some of these Sleepy Hollow pictures like on my screensaver. I'm going to highlight one. I'm going to hold down the shift key and highlight the rest of them. Actually, I can use the down key. No, I can't. There we go. We've selected them all. I'm going to click import and they will show up right here. If you don't see them, then you may need to need to scroll. But here they are. All right, now I'm going to click and drag it down here. We're at storyboard. You can do it on the timeline as well, but sometimes it's a little easier with storyboard. And actually you can hit that shift key and click all of these like this and drag them down as one bunch that will put them in the right order. Now, let's say we have all the photos we want on this. And uh, so let's click right here where it says show timeline. Now, now here they are really tiny down here. Let me zoom in. Now if everything's too tiny and cramped and you really want a broader view, go over to here where you see these magnifying glasses. There's one that's a plus and a minus. Hit the plus. You can hit it many, many times and it will sort of stretch everything out. All right, now let's, now that we have, we have some simple photos here and I suggest doing this before you do a regular video. Let's go over here to uh, to this and actually check it out. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for us. And know that when you put a photo up here, whether it's um, just a photo or whether it's like a, a, a title or a credit, it lasts for four seconds. And if you doubt me, well, you can look right there and see for yourself. Our first one goes from 000 to... Well, actually, I tell a lie. It looks like this goes to five seconds. Okay, I stand corrected. Five seconds on that. thought it was four. I'm dumbfounded. Um, anyway, okay, five seconds. So if we go over to this, and we zoom out, and we press play. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Now, and right here, there's a counter. This tells you how long your video is in total, the whole thing, and this counts along as it goes. Supposedly. Okay, it, it got to the end. That's a problem. Let me restart it. See? This is seconds, obviously. And paying attention to this will really help you with your editing. I recommend that you shut down everything. Shut down your chats. Shut down any kind of downloads you have. Go, you son of a gun. There it goes. Shut down any kind of other things and let your movie maker take all of your system resources because sometimes you're really going to need it. And when you're actually filming via your computer with your webcam or your video camera, whatever you choose to use, you really are going to need all of that all of that oomph that your computer has in it because otherwise you can have a really poor image and you're going to have sound that doesn't sync with the video. So, all right, we've got cool images. So now we need maybe a maybe a little transition. Don't really need to do much with video effects, but yeah, some transitions would be nice. Um, let's see. Say we wanted, and I suggest going and trying all of these just to see what you like because they are kind of fun. Say we wanted this bow tie effect. I've got it highlighted. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to drag it and drop it right down between these two frames. And see it kind of merges them right there. You see that? So if you hit the stop button, it takes the whole video back to the very beginning. Pause will pause it where it's at. Stop will stop it and make it start from the beginning again. So, oh, that fidget on my screen. So, play and you watch the transition here that we just put in. See? 